If somebody asked you to pick one thing that was likely to lower morale amongst serving troops, then you'd probably suggest the sight of a colleague being killed in action. However, grieving father Ronnie Downs, whose guardsman's son Tony died in Afghanistan this summer, says he saw no sign of low morale when fellow servicemen came to visit him after Tony's funeral. Not, not one of them complained to us about it. You know, there was all, all just generally chatting and, like, you know, talking about the tour in general. This suggestion that British troops serving in Iraq and Afghanistan feel angry, undervalued and fatigued surfaced in a memo written by General Sir Richard Dannett, which was leaked last week. Now, about the same time in the House of Lords, five former defence chiefs warned of blood on the floor as a result of alleged underfunding of the military. So what's all that about? Well, political manoeuvring, perhaps. But as far as ordinary serving men and women are concerned, it's nothing but a minor distraction, reckons Ronnie Downs. It's like two different worlds. You've got the soldier and you've got the generals yeah. and the officers. You know, and I think for basically the normal common soldier wants to go out there and do the job that he joined up for. Regardless of whether the generals are right about morale being low in the armed forces, all that Dad Ronnie Downs knows is that since the death of his son Tony in the summer, several local people have said they want to join up. Well, since June, since the death of Tony, like four local teenagers from round Drawsden have been in to see me, to sign the forms for him to go into the army. I'm Kevin Duffy for Channel M News.